It's your boy Inka back here again with another little video, little reaction. As I usually say, I'm not gonna talk anymore. So let's get into the video. You practice in Atlanta, right? That's exactly right. So the rules and the laws are probably differently, and you know the system is probably different in every every state. It's state to state. That's true. Yeah. But in 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 pretty much every state in the nation, the rules, the the laws are set to where there's no preference given. Uh, because in California, they actually try to push the fathers to be more involved and more have the kids more, and so they push to have that 50-50 custody if the when father. When you say they, who is they? The, the the system, the judge, the courtroom. So you're saying that the judge, the tries, attorneys. No, no, wait, let's let's be let's be specific yeah. because you're speaking in all these generalities, and I mm -hmm. want to know specifically when you say they are pushing men to have more time with their kids. Who is court, they? Court, judge. What is That's what the I've judge. been told from attorneys. That's what you've been told. Okay, which judge is pushing for fathers to, to, to have they more time push, with their so kids? They push, so basically what they say is that they, they really, says? like my attorney when I did everything. Okay, your attorney, your yes. one attorney well, said. Right, but you're just one you're attorney. You're just one attorney as well. I mean, right, but I she tried to use your own anecdotal situation to judge the general public. Your attorney is saying that they push men to have the kids more. Just yours. Don't start saying they, as in it's a widespread thing that judges and court systems are trying to get fathers more involved in their children's lives. That's just bull crap and you're being disingenuous. But I've been doing this for 20 years. But yeah, but, so I, I, I'm, my, I'm, my divorce attorney was one of the top in San Diego. But that's, that's what that's But what the other point, saying. though, that you're saying, though, that doesn't make any sense is you're saying that the judges choose that men, okay, we went back to disagreeability. Mm -hmm. What is the guy supposed to do? Like, so if Adam's gonna get married and he's gonna have children, you didn't really get to helping him. So like, what I mean, is- I think that's why, that's why, that's why, so, that's why so you. many men are walking away from marriage exactly. today. Exactly. Is because it, like, it doesn't benefit Just them. a bad deal is what yeah, you yeah. It's a bad deal You're for saying, guys You're saying, how today. do we fix it? And this is what I'm telling you. For an individual man right now, there is no fix. Now, the so laws you're saying to not get married. The laws are changing. In Atlanta, for example, they are they've just started this year pushing that it, to move away from the system where fathers or mothers can get custody because what judges are doing, they're using that discretion to just basically give mothers custody. Now, Georgia is moving to a system to where the default is 50 50 and that's where we need to be the def if 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 the if the judge starts out and says okay here's what we're going to do you guys are going to get divorced that's fine 50 percent of the time with the mom 50 percent of the time with the dad now if anybody has any objection to that i'll listen and if anybody doesn't want that i'll listen that's how but california is that's how california yeah, is but we're so talking about the nation we're not cherry picking over here. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's not, oh, my one friend this or but oh, this I, particular well, state. And, and, to and, Atlanta, and, men, right? and women, women but are men only. Men really only win push. custody. It's like 20 percent of the time. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, let me get to so, let me, so let me, if you're, if you're, guys. If I may, time, let me get to some stats, and I want to get your opinion on this. So. Uh, we're going to cover relationships, who to date, who not to date, divorce, all that. We're all over the map here. All good. Have fun. Uh, so here's some divorce stats for you guys. Nationally, we're not cherry picking over here. Exactly. Um, here's some stats for you guys. Man versus woman. Women file for divorce 70% of the time. That goes up to 90% of the time college when they're college educated. educated. Mm -hmm. Beware those smart girls, y'all. Uh, women get the kids 90% of the time. This is what uh, she doesn't Average understand. child support payment is 720 bucks a month. Alimony is around 40% of the guy's income. These are stats, and then men are way more likely to end up getting depressed, fat, alcohol, drugs, and suicidal. So back to this, this point that I kind of want to discuss. The system is just against the men in this. Like, damn, it's crazy how, for some reason, the marriage laws haven't changed for some reason. They, they've stayed the same and seem to be benefit the women way more than it benefits the men. But hey, we're going to keep that the same. Equality, right? The divorce rate, 70%. Women initiate this. You said this is exactly why men are so hesitant to get married today. So is marriage an outdated deal for men? What do you think, Pearl? I mean, I think I think men and women are better together and like marriage is good as an institution, but I feel like the government ruined it. I just think it's a bad deal for men the way the laws are today. Okay. So w what should men do if they want to get married and you believe that that family unit is 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 ideal? 
should men just kind of be clear eyed going into this? This is why I brought the attorney. This is why you brought the attorney. <laughs> and, and, and so you can't hide behind the attorney, <laughs> Pearl. You gotta no, answer no, the question. No, I'm, I'm saying you can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like like that's why cause the legal. Um, I mean, some guys do the prenup. Some guys choose to walk away. Some guys. I've heard of a guy that lives with a girl but has her pay the rent, so she can't. Because I guess she can seize your assets legally if she's just living with you for a certain amount of time, and that can include like even if she leaves her stuff at your apartment. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so I've heard. I've heard some like guys have interesting solutions. So is marriage just a bad there. deal for men well, these days? Get, I mean, let's let's get the, let's go there. Or is it a bad I, deal for someone who makes the most money? Well, listen, uh, because I'm I feel so, like I'm it's not even just men or women. It's whoever makes the most money in the. Yeah, and the person who usually makes the most money is men. So therefore, you know, one plus one equals two. It's a simple equation. So you're saying it's a bad deal for the person who makes the most money, and in general, the man is the one who usually makes the most money. Therefore, it is a bad bad deal for the man because that is the general public and that's the general thing the man usually makes more money than the women not the other way around so stop trying to twist and say well it's usually it's a bad deal for the person who makes the most money so it's not really a man or a woman issue it's really just based off the person who makes the most money which is the men the relationship it's why are we pitching holding That's it to not men true. or women? And again, the stat that you just read well, about Well, they're not going to... Okay, if you're married... Let me married, finish, please. Let me finish. If you're married... Let me finish. The, the, the stat that you just read about women getting custody 90% of the time, yeah. right? The, and this is why it's so good to have a couple on here that... And, and they're both ignorant about these, these laws. They said, oh, well, just m men get custody 50% of the time, too. And it's not true. If, if, if women get primary physical custody 90% of the time... That, that should be a, a, a stat that shocks them, right? Do you think that they should take a one-year-old or a baby and give the primary custody to the male, the, the man, the Again. dad, or That's the That's actually mom? a really good point. I, I just, like if it's I just a newborn. I just if it's answer a newborn. the question. Yeah. No, I just have that question. Do you think? Yes or no? I just answer the question. It should be default 50-50. It's half of the man's genetics, half of the woman's genetics. Half of the man's chromosomes, half of the woman's chromosomes. It's half their baby it, it can't be well you know we're gonna we're gonna give the mom the kid until the kid's age two and then we're gonna introduce the dad no if the mom wants to breastfeed that's fine and the mom can breastfeed on her time and can send bottles to the but no one's arguing with you that it should be 50 50. what do you mean you're saying I, it should she, be she, she just 50 -50. asked I'm just your your girlfriend just asked if 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 the father should have what did you say? If I'm saying that if the that the mother should not be the primary custody, but honestly, That's when it's 50-50, the that. kid's you're, going you're, back you're and forth. You're saying that no one should say it's it shouldn't be 50-50, and uh, your no, girlfriend I'm just I'm said it. No, I'm saying the primary, like with the person, li like the kid living with the mom. But honestly, when it's 50-50, they're not live. They're not full time at anyone's house. They're bouncing back and forth. So, and your, that's what the California was, state law it, pushes your, for. Your statement said. Your statement was no one saying that it shouldn't be 50-50. Your girlfriend just said that. That, that it shouldn't and I agree with you it should it should be 50 50 it should not be where the mother just being a mother gets primary physical custody of these kids simple as just because you're the mother of the kids doesn't mean automatically you should get the most custody of the kids it's that simple but for some reason you want to be arguing on some type of stupidity is what's going on here and to be honest with you that's his girlfriend I feel sorry for you bro trust me your relationship is not going to last not gonna last <laughs> So, so I agree with you. I don't agree with her. Like, fathers should have equal right to these children. They do, this, though. Their children. And right. I, I'm and just going off of the, what the I stat, know. The stat that the man sitting next to you, Adam, told you is that 90% of the time, women get primary physical custody of these kids. Like, I imagine, know what you're saying. Imagine if it was no. vice versa. I know, like, I, a, imagine if it was vice versa if women only got custody 10% of the time. Like, I we agree. Would be, we would be in uproar but about absolutely. it. Absolutely. But, like but you never hear about it because when it comes to men, like... We're like not people, looking at people, all the the reasons, though. Like, there could be reasons to why that stat is. 90%? Yeah, there could be Jesus. reasons to where, okay, so maybe think the father did not want to be around. Maybe nine the father ten. can't be around as nine much. Nine out of ten. Nine yes. out of ten of them. Yes, nine out of ten. Wow, that's, that's a bold statement. I Well, that's what I think. <laughs> nine, nine, be clear about this. Nine out of ten should be a woman that feels so bad. Saying, Madison, what are you saying? I'm saying that there's so many reasons to why this stat, like, this percentage could be this high. Did you know that? I just saw an article the other day that are more likely to get custody of their children. Prostitutes. 
Pearl, that is such a great point because everybody, everybody, just like her, everybody wants to to look at what the problems are that, with the man are and assume that the mother is a good mother. I have represented so many shitty mothers that still get custody of these kids, but everybody's like, oh well, ninety percent of the time the moms get custody, so there must be a reason on the dad's side. This is what you just said. I no one honestly... looks at the mother's side though and wonders why is it if if women are human beings too, if 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 men can be poor fathers fathers, then women can be poor mothers. Why mm -hmm. is it that even with women being poor mothers, they get custody 90% of the time? Yeah. Right? If you sit back and think about this, it doesn't make sense. Of course there's a preference for women. The men are getting screwed over by the... You know, women never want to take accountability. They do, can do no wrong. Women are perfect human beings who never do anything wrong. <laughs> they, they just get kids. No matter how bad of human beings they are, they get the kids. And a woman will always back that up because women can do no wrong. But anyway, that was the video. Another reaction, another little video. As I usually say, if you enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible. Comment down below. Let's get a discussion going down below. I'll reply to as many comments as possible. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Yinka That Guy. And I'm out.